हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टू द स्काई कोडिंग अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन हु इज वॉचिंग माई वीडियो इन द मॉर्निंग ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ कैन वी कन्फिग्रेट अवर स्नो सीक्वल कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस विद द स्नो फ्लेक वेब यू आई क्लासिक यू आई और द स्नो साइट वन ओके वी नीड द स्नो सीक्वल कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस फॉर वर्किंग विद द इंटरनल स्टेजेस फॉर लोडिंग डेटा फ्रॉम द लोकल मशीन सो यू हैव टू डू द कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ कमांड लाइन विद द स्नो फ्लेक वन सो दैट यू कैन यूज द पुट कमांड एंड यू कैन अपलोड द फाइल to the stages and you can do the unloading as well okay so for that uh, we need the isno sql command line interface okay so in this video we will do the configuration and we will install the isno sql in our local machine successfully okay without any error okay I got this uh, review from some of them that some of them are not able to download this isno sql and uh, they are not able to do the configuration with the command line interface okay so that's why I thought that I should create a video on this because uh, from the next videos uh, we will start the loading part now and from lo loading we will load from internal stages as well and uh, the external stages so for internal stages we need to install the isno sql okay so that's why we are creating the video that how to do the configuration of these things okay so without wasting any time let's get started okay so uh, you can see i have uh, logged in to my uh, snowflake classic ui and after that what you have to do you are seeing this header part where there is a database shares marketplace warehouse worksheet all this information is there and here you will see one option of help okay so you have to just uh, simply click on help there is a uh, one option uh, more for downloading the that is no sql driver you can simply open the browser and you can search is no sql driver download then it, it will also download the snowflake okay but uh, we are just downloading it from snowflake only there is a one option so why to go to the browser we will download from here only so you have to just simply click help and you will see one option here download okay so you have to just open this download and uh, you will see there are all the drivers uh, which are available to us okay if you want jdbc driver so you can uh, download jdbc from here if you want odbc driver so you can open the odbc dr driver from here uh, for your linux windows or uh, mac os okay so uh, in this video i want cli is no sql only so i will open just this is cli client is no sql okay after opening this you have to just simply download this one according to your machine configuration okay so you have to just simply click here after that it will open the index of isno sql okay and after that you have to simply click on the boot step after that you have to open this 1.2 version after that uh, you have to open this windows version because i want installation of windows okay and after that you have to just simply open the first one okay you have to download the first one okay if you want these older versions you can download that one okay so uh, in this video i am uh, downloading the first one only so let me download this okay so you can see my it this uh, so you can see my isno sql 1.2.0 is uh, successfully downloaded after downloading you have to open the downloads folder and you can see this is my down uh, this isno sql which is downloaded it is two times okay so let me delete first one okay uh, so after uh, downloading it you have to just simply do the double click or uh, by doing the right click run as admin you can do okay so it has opened the isno flake isno sql set up wizard okay after you have to do the simply installation it is a basically a very simple installation of as you have done the installation of various software so you can do this this is very simple okay so you have to just simply click next and after that it is a path where this is no sql will be installed and after that you have to simply do the next and after that you have to simply click on the install and you will ask for the admin password and you can admin give the admin password and username and after that uh, it will be successfully installed in your system i have successfully installed earlier only so that's why i am not going to install this again and again you can give the just your admin password and it will successfully install the isno sql in your system without any problem okay and if you are facing any problem uh, you can text me okay and uh, you can see this is uh, now successfully installed after that you will see this type of uh, wizard and after that you can simply click on the finish okay so after doing the isno sql which you have downloaded from the snowflake website after doing the successfully installation of this by giving the admin password you have to just open your uh, c drive okay so uh, let where win your windows is installed okay so let me open my c drive after that you have to open to the users after that you can open your users which you are using After that, uh, you will see here one option of dot isno flake. Uh, sorry, dot isno sql. Okay, you will see one option of dot isno sql. Okay, so you have to just open this and you have to open your version. And after that, you will see here one application type of isno sql. Okay, 
so you can see this is my isno sql application okay so if it, this folder is there then it is obviously confirmed that your isno sql installation is successfully done in your local machine okay so you can do the configuration from here or as well if you want from here so you can do from here or otherwise uh, you can use the command line interface as well okay so uh, you can check from here that if there is a one folder of dot isno sql and you are getting this isno sql application then it is sure that your isno sql uh, which you have downloaded from the snowflake classic why is the isno sql installation is successfully done in your local machine okay after checking this folder you have to simply close this C drive after doing all this you have to open the command line interface okay so let me open my command line interface okay and uh, there are few steps which you need to follow for doing the configuration of isno sql with the isno flake okay uh, so let me open my notepad and write some of the steps then you will better understand those things okay so first step will be you have to uh, give the command of isno sql and in the second step uh, you have to uh, check you can check the version by doing isno sql minus v and in the third step uh, you have to do the configuration of your account uh, by typing is no sql uh, is no sql minus a and uh, here you have to give your account name okay account underscore name okay account name and after that you, you have to type minus uh, minus u and here you have to give your username okay user name okay so uh, this is the third step and in the fourth step uh, you have to give your password okay give password okay so let me write uh, four steps and then you will better understand that what you have to do for the configuration okay uh, and in the fifth step uh, you can start working uh, you uh, use database use schema use warehouse whatever you want okay so in the uh, uh, you have to basically follow this fourth step for doing the configuration okay so let me do this uh, one by one okay so first of all uh, you have to give the command is no sql is no sql it will install the is no sql okay after typing the is no sql you have to simply put the enter okay uh, so now it, maybe it will be visible better because i have increased the font okay so you can see my is no sql is installed and you are seeing uh, these some of the commands and what are the, uh, the uses of these commands okay so you can after giving this is no sql command and maybe you will see here one option of permission denied because uh, there is uh, some uh, log files a permission is denied in our system that's why it is uh, showing this is no sql uh, error okay so after giving that command you have to give the second command uh, you can uh, check the version okay uh, so let me check the version if it is uh, is no sql is installed in my system then it will show the version and if it is not installed then it will not show the version okay so you can check the version of from here okay if it is showing the version it is uh, definitely sure that your sql is no sql is successfully installed okay so you can see it is showing the version 1.2.424 uh, okay so it is uh, now uh, definitely sure that uh, your is no sql is successfully installed okay after checking this version uh, you have to do the main configuration okay you have to give your account name and all these things okay so uh, let me type the command is no sql is no sql minus a okay after that you have to give your account name okay uh, so let me show you that how can you give your account name okay so your account name is here uh, you have to open your web ui and uh, you you are seeing in the url jp02361 na? so uh, this is my account name okay and in the account name you have to give this uh, location as well okay so you have to just copy your account name dot uh, location name as well okay so my location is ab dot southeast one okay so you have, you have to copy this thing from here in the account name okay so you you can see this uh, you have to type uh, copy your account name and dot the location name okay so let me move to the command line again okay uh, so let me close this uh, notepad and uh, this is my command line okay so after typing after copying the your account name you have to just simply paste it here is no sql minus a after that you have to paste your account name dot location name and after that you have to type minus u and here you have to give your username okay my username is uh, sivam12 okay so i am giving my username as sivam12 okay after giving your account name and the username you have to simply put enter okay and now it will connect your isno sql to the isno flake classic ui okay so you have to just wait it may show you permission denied but it will successful but it will successfully do their work okay so after that it is asking for the password uh, so you can give your snowflake uh, login password okay so let me give my snowflake login password and it will not show on the screen okay after typing the password you have to simply put the enter okay so i have typed the password and after that i have uh, done the enter okay 
so after that uh, you can see my is no sql is successfully installed in our system and uh, now we can do the configuration now my configuration is also done and now uh, we can use these things from here command line interface as well okay so uh, let me show you okay so you you can use the warehouse as well so for using the warehouse you can give use a uh, warehouse and you can see there are lots of warehouses uh, which are coming here okay, so let me give command use warehouse and after that uh, you can choose your warehouse from here and after that you can put the enter as uh, you are using that uh, is no uh, that sql no? sql workbench and uh, sql command line interface so it is uh, just like that only okay use uh, database so you can see my i can use my database and they are also showing here okay uh, so you can see i have uh, done the use of database as well uh, so let me use the schema so for schema there are uh, lots of schema which are available to us and uh, we can choose the schema according to our need okay uh, so let me choose this aws schema and uh, you can see my schema is uh, also selected okay so you can see this is sky training at the rate sky.aws okay so this is my warehouse and this is my database and uh, aws is my schema okay <coughs> Uh, so uh, you can do all those things from here as well and uh, we will use here a put command put a file command to upload the file to the stage okay that's why we have done the installation of this is no sequel because from the next videos uh, we will uh, do the uh, that thing uh, we will uh, do the loading part that's why we have done the installation okay so uh, this is all about that uh, you can uh, how can you do the installation how can you do the configuration of isno sql to the snowflake command line interface okay this is a uh, uh, now this is uh, available to the, us in the that command line interface as well okay so these are basically four steps uh, you need to follow for doing the configuration these four steps you need to follow okay and if you are facing any type of problem you can text me or you can do the comment section and i will definitely try to help you out there okay so that's it for today's session. Meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial. And from the next tutorials, we are doing the Snowflake loading. Okay. And if you haven't checked my Snowflake playlist, then you can visit to the description box or you can visit to the channel and you can visit to the playlist tab and you can watch my play Snowflake a playlist from there. We have, we have discussed all the these topics of Snowflake. Okay. So bye guys. Take care of yourself.